YouTube. I just wanted to, I've been cutting a lot of these filler pieces and stuff, you know, for my cabinets and cutting these boards here down. And you always got to worry about chipping the paint and stuff. I found something that takes, it's a little slower, but check this edge out. This was just made out of, you know, I've cut it with special plywood blades on the other ones and the big skill saw, but look how nice that edge is. This is without any sanding or painting or nothing. No paint, chipping, no nothing. Well, how did I do that? It's a little slower, but you know, hell, I got time. And here, I wanted to show you this. It did chip just a little bit on the left there, but here's the other one that, you know, uh, I'm using this as a filler piece, so you can check and see how your blade works, but that's a pretty nice no paint chip edge, no taping, no nothing. Well, what did I use? What's the big secret? Well, I used a nice Hitachi uh, jigsaw here and if you look I have a a metal blade on there with real spine teeth and it's a little slow and that bottom of this is pretty polished pretty smooth so it didn't scratch or anything didn't scratch the paint but I used that jigsaw with that uh, real fine tooth metal blade a little slow but worked really well anyway thought I'd pass that on and uh, any it kind of surprised me to be honest with you to get a cut that good you know and and this don't matter because this is scrap on this one anyway but the one I'm using the filler and I'm gonna take a belt sander and and round this edge and I'm spray paint it with a uh, white Krylon at Walmart you know so but uh, anyway so you could always do a test run whichever side chipped on make sure you put your saw going the side you don't want but anyway I just thought I'd pass that on I was I was kind of amazed. I didn't tape it or nothing. Okay. All right. Have a nice day.